Alrighty guys, well, basically what happened last night was I, uh, decided that I'm going to start to let the mollies loose. Um, for right now, all I let loose was one, and I'm kind of experimenting with this on my filter. Basically, I took an old fishnet, uh, cut it up, and kind of just for temporary usage, uh, put it on around the, uh, the filter there. Eventually I'll do it with some hot glue or something like that. Or even sew it on there. Or just sew it so that it fits around there. Um, but anyway, I released one of the baby mollies into the tank. He's right here. I don't know if you can see him because it's not focusing for some reason. But um, basically he's right there. Alright, and the rest of them are still in the breeder trap. But the only reason I'm doing that, or this whole thing, is because this, this uh, female guppy is definitely pregnant. Uh, so, that's basically what's going on, is I'm trying to figure out a way to release the baby mollies into the tank without uh, causing a lot of problem. And uh, trying to do it before she gives birth. Somebody told me they have a 28 day birthing period, so that's basically what's going on is uh I'm just trying to do that so what I'm gonna do is you know let that go for about I want to say roughly about maybe a week and then uh hopefully by then she'll be ready to go um my filter had a little problem because this morning I took or last night I tried to do it with a piece of cloth um basically I have these old this old pair of uh jeans or not jeans what am I talking about pajama pants that are sort of torn up that I just basically cut them up and I tried to cut it up but if you can see it's not very porous uh, it's just basically like I want to say it's polyester or some type of cotton or polyester um, it's stretchy but it doesn't it doesn't uh, allow enough water through so that was not doing that <laughs> um, so basically I took a old fishnet because I have two of these, cut off the uh, the netting like so, and then cut it in half. Uh, so this is half the net, the other half the net's on that, and then uh, just rubber banded it around it and uh, made sure that it was on there pretty snug. I do have some more rubber bands just in case. Um, I want to put some more more on around it. But I think it's pretty snug around there and it doesn't seem like it's leaking anything or allowing too much suction but basically that's going to keep the uh, the baby mollies from getting sucked up onto it hopefully and uh, we'll see what happens or sucked up into the filter rather <laughs> I'm not so wor much worried about them getting sucked up onto it the little the, the baby mollies swam over there a couple times now and he's been able to swim away from it so um, I'm thinking I might release them into the tank tomorrow, maybe a day later, just because these quarry catfish are, have a big enough mouth to eat them. So that's my only concern at the moment, is that he's going to try to eat them. But we'll see. I might take him out and put him in, back in the in the 30-gallon tank if uh, if I release the rest of them tomorrow, because I do have two two quarry cats in the tank. So we'll see. <laughs> 